Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create drawing views. I prepared the 3D model and I will start with create new drawing and it's necessary to specify name and the system will automatically select open it model and you can choose if you would like to use the template or format and in this example I'd like to show you how to create on the empty drawing. So what you can see and select is the standard size, so choose the standard size and confirm OK. First one is necessary to create the general view. So if you put the icon, the general view, the system asks you if you would like to use the combined state or some predefined information. What does it mean combined state? I will show you later. So for now I don't want to use this question anymore, so confirm OK and system don't want to ask me this question. So if I confirm OK, the what is necessary select is the center point. If you don't know what to do in the Creo, you can see that select center point for the drawing. So, so Creo always help you what is necessary to do. For general view, select the center point and then it's necessary to orient model. How do you create your 3D model? It's based on this orientation. So if I will select, for example, front view, the system will automatically spin the model the front view. If I will select right, it will be right. So system read the 3D model orientation. What does it mean? If I will open 3D model and I will select the same orientation here, for example, right, the system will spin the model for me, the correct orientation, same like in the drawing. So orientation is definite by 3D model. When I created this 3D model, for this extrude feature, I select the datum plane, the front as a sketch orientation. So if you select here and only edit, you can see here that my sketch plane was definite as front. So orientation is again based on the first orientation of the extrude feature, how you create it. Okay, so right now you understand how to orient model directly for general view. I will jump back to drawing. The general view was created. You can create any number of general views. So if you would like to select and create a new general view, select general view and select center point. The system will show you again the default orientation and you can see that over here is a lot of options how you can orient model. So select and define the predefined orientation. So you can really easy by double click and system will show you correct orientation or you can use your custom orientation directly into drawing. I sometimes use this function so you can use this function, select geometry references. And the best practice is if you start with default orientation. You can see here how to system orient model in the default orientation. And you can choose, for example, what will be on the top. So I will select the top and you can select the surface which will be specified as a top orientation. And then, for example, that surface, I'd like to use this surface will be front. So I will select the front. If you confirm OK, you have a, another general view. What does it mean? You can place it anywhere. In the default create orientation, it's not possible to move with view. But if you use the right mouse button, over there is the function lock view movement. If you unlock, you can place it anywhere and you can move any view. OK. So general view one more time. I will put the general view, select the center point, and then, for example, I don't want to use the default orientation, but I'd like to create my custom one. So confirm OK, and you can jump to the 3D model again by right mouse button and open, and spin the model like you need in your drawing. For example, this orientation will be nice. And you can see here that in the view manager, it's the possible work with orient and you can create a new orientation. And for example, 3D, 
you will select the another one and we'll, I will spin it, yeah, and create new and 3D B orientation, sorry. So for now we have a 3D orientation and 3D like second option. Okay, go back to the drawing and create it. View is possible to select double click and the system will open for you drawing view properties. And you can see here that it's predefined 3D orientation definite by or orientation definite by from the 3D model. So if I will double click for 3D, the system will spin the same orientation as into 3D model or opposite way. But sometimes you create your view and maybe you don't like this orientation. It was definite from the 3D, but you would like to a little bit modify it. So go to the angles and set value for orientation. You can see here that it is possible to orient by normal, or vertical, horizontal and so on. So select for example 15 degree and apply. And the system will spin a model for 15 degree. Or you can use the negative value of minus 25 and again apply. So first orientation was definite from the 3D model, but a small another modification you can do by view orientation angles. Come from OK. So right now you understand how to work with general views. We have a couple of general views here and another option what is possible to do is create a projection view. So if you select any view, you can select right mouse button and over there is the option projection view or from the ribbon it's a possible to select the projection view. So it's up to you what you choose. Sometimes I use the ribbon and many times the right mouse button. And where you place it, the system will create the projection view. Yeah. So from this view, I like to use the projection view over here or from this view, I like to use the projection view here. So we can see that we have a lot of views and we need to specify how we would like to see the edges or visibility of this view. So for example, if I will select double click or I will select the view, right mouse button and properties, the system will open for me the driving view. The better practice is to select the double click then over there is the option view display. So I can use the function view display and you can choose if you would like to follow environment or set fireframe, hidden, no hidden and so on. What does it mean follow environment? I will leave it and over here that I can choose the default visibility for the 3D model and drawing views. So for example, no hidden and if I will move everything will be now hidden. And if you will open the 3D model, everything will be hidden. If you will choose the hidden line, for example, you can see here the hidden line and drawings will be with hidden line. I don't like this function that follow environment because it's really sensitive. So better practice is because, for example, the 3D model I'd like to use always with the edges, but views I'd like to specify different ways. So select double click for the view and select view display and set up, for example, this view for no hidden. Yeah. And this view will be, for example, hidden line. Okay. And you will have a 15 views and I don't want to select all these views. So with configuration option, is the possible to set that all new views will be specified like you need. So back to the views, you can use the lot of views. Yeah. So select views, you can use the again filter and select everything or you can use the control button and select the views. Right mouse button and properties. If you select more than one view, the system automatically jump only to the view display option and you can choose for example that this object will be no hidden. But how we would like to see the tangent edges is this option 
and you can for example specify that it will be dimmed. If you come from OK, the all views will be specified under one time and visibility of the line will be set up too. If you would like to change something, no problem, you can specify it and change it, for example, non visibility of the tangent edg. So it's up to you. Okay? Specify everything in one step or step by step. Let's go back to the views. This another view what is possible to create with Creo Parametric is the detail view. Over here I created a really small hole and we would like to in the drawing see this hole much bigger. So create a detail view and the system asks you select the center point, so select any geometry, for example from the hole, and then sketch a spline. So you can create and continue create a spline and finish with middle mouse button and the system again asks you select the center point. So you can see here that it's the possible to create a detail view and then the system will create the detail view for you. One more time over here, create detail view, cell reference and left mouse button create a spline. It's not necessary to finish the spline, so select the middle button and left mouse. And the system will create another detail view for you. If you would like to modify this view, no problem, select double click for the detail of the view and the system open or view options and you can see that there is the name, the type is detailed and reference edge is here so you can select any another reference point or specify your custom spline yeah if you come from apply the system will recreate the view again you can specify another point apply or specify your custom spline and the system automatically recreate the view for you if you come from OK, maybe we would like to change the scale. So again, everything is possible to do by double click, but right now select one time and double click. And the system asks you for the new scale of detail view. And you can specify, for example, 25. Yeah. And if you finish it, the system will create a scaled detail view. Again, by drawing configuration option is the possible to specify how the system will show you the detail information and where the node will be placed. The another view is auxiliary view. The auxiliary view is useful if you need to show the dimensions for the whole, but you can see here that over here is really hard to show the diameter for the hole because everywhere over here and over here or here you can see the hole as ellipse so for example here if i will select view display and hidden line the system will show you that over here over here is created hole so here is the question if it is possible to show the perpendicular view you can use for it auxiliary view so if you select the auxiliary view, the system help you over here that you need to select edge or axis. So select edge and then system ask you for the placement of the view. You can place it anywhere here. Yeah. And then if you select double click again, you can work with display. So we can, for example, set no hidden line and tangent edges will be dimmed or phantom, yeah, for example, over here. If I go OK, this is the visualization, it's fine. And here is the question that if you would like to move the system always align this view, paste it on original one. But maybe you would like to move it anywhere or different position. So if you select again, double click over here, the possibility to alignment and I don't want to align this view. And if you will go back to the view type, your system will ask you for confirmation that you would like that you don't want to use the alignment. And then I'd like to see 
the arrow. You can show the projection arrow as a single or double, it's up to you. And if you come from OK, the system will show you the view 12, yeah, view 12, for example, view C, yeah, over here, is here. So you can place it anywhere and set some nodes, that is the view C, and everything is fine because this is the projection view as auxiliary view. Okay, so for now you understand how to create general view, projection view, detail view and auxiliary view. I'd like to show you more and another possibility is if you create a general view, yeah, like this one, you can transform this general view as a partial view. So for example, select the visible area and you don't want to see the full view, but you would like to see only partial view. So if you select partial view, the system again asks you for the reference point, so for example this one, and then around this point create a spline with the middle button, confirm the spline and confirm OK. And the system will create for you partial view. We need to create new 3D model and symmetric and for example I will create some really easy shape and we can reuse a palette for it and for example over here I like to create a L profile. You can use the, some sketch for example 25 and you know that it's this possible to move and align and confirm OK, definite by dimensions and it's OK. So this is the L profile that you would like to create a mirror, select from the model tree the name and select the mirror feature and the system asks you to select the plane and the system will create mirrored part. Yeah. And this model I'd like to see only in only as a half in the drawing. So we will create a new drawing with same name and with an empty template and for example A2, go from OK and general view. Yeah, no combination state and front is OK. View display that no hidden is fine for me. And then if you apply it, you would like to see only half of the view. You can go to visible area and half view change, full view change to half view. Again, the system asks you half view reference plane or over here, select reference plane. So it's necessary to select reference plane and choose which side you would like to keep. It's up to you, you can change and come from OK. In the drawing, you have a lot of options how to manage the view, orientation, dimensions, visibility of the line and so on. So if you select the file prepare drawing properties and over here you have a detail option, you have a lot of possibility how to work with text, with views, with cross section and so on. So try to have a look what is the possible to change and you can select the option from drop down menu and manage for example if you would like to work with projection type third one or first one yeah and if you change it you can save it and store and the system can again read information automatically for every drawing body you will use so for example if you will change the object settings yeah and I like to create some modification over here so you you see that my drawing yeah right now I will create a projection view it was another example how to manage the drawing properties because you have heard that I I have spoken about the drawing properties a couple of times in this tutorial. So let's continue. 
you know how to work with general view, projection view, or how to manage the hall view. Another question is how to manage the broken view. So I will delete everything. I will change the source model a little bit. So for example, I'd like to change this length. And for example, 1000. Yeah. Regenerate. And in the drawing, how will we look? If I will go back to the drawing, and I will start with new general view. You can see that right now I will create a front view over here. And if I will create a projection view, I have enough enough space on my drawings. So again, some visualization modification. It's a quick one, yeah. And over here for this view, I like to show you how to create the broken view. So if I select double click in a visible area, you can change it to broken view. You need to select the edge break and the system asks you select the point and set a side where you would like to break it because you need to specify if you would like to go the horizontal or vertical direction. This is the first breaking point and then select only second breaking point. If you confirm OK, the system automatically removes the middle side. If you go here in the option, you can choose if the break line will be straight line or your custom sketch, for example. So if you would like to create your custom sketch, create your custom sketch, and if you apply, the system will create it again. So you can add the another break and select the point and side and again the another point and system will remove the references or view between these selected edges and what about the manipulation you can see here that right now if i would like to move with the view if i will manipulate with general view the system automatically move with aligned view so this one is projection view and it's alignment to original one yeah to the general one and this is the part of the broken view so you can move it if you need to and specify your custom offset in the future if you would like to speak about the dimension the system calculate real length so if i will create quickly dimensions you can see the system calculate with real length doesn't care if it is broken view or not. Okay. In this video tutorial, you have learned how to create the general view, how to manipulate the orientation of the general view, how it's possible to create the projection view, detail view, or auxiliary view, and how to manage the visible area for different type of view half view, partial view or broken view. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.